Shalom and Godspeed. Today, we're going to be uh, sharing our testimonies. Well, I'm going to be sharing my testimony, and I'm hoping that uh, many of you will share your testimonies too. Uh, and the way the video is actually preferred, because then we can see you and hear you. And I believe that it's very encouraging and inspiring and helping for all of us to, you know, step outside our comfort zone and share a testimony in a short video. I mean, why not? It's, uh, it's a time right now when all the encouragement and inspiration and support and comfort that we can provide for one another is definitely something that's needed. Uh, I'm gonna say hi to, well, this is Leo. Let's see, there's Leo, he's peeking right there. That's his toy, he, he bit the, the legs off his octopus. Let's say hi to Leo. That's Leo. So anyway, yeah, I'll let you guys get a little bit more acquainted with Leo. Anyway, so I'm 46 now. Um, I was 16 when I came to the Lord. Um, it was uh, on a full moon, and I was um, terrified of the idea of hell. And I had um, read in a surfing magazine that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And I believe his spirit was speaking to me at that time prior to when I um, asked him to be my Lord and Savior and forgive me of my sins. And like I said, it was on a full moon. It was incredible. And I um, went to sleep that night, you know, woke up the next day, um, whatever. And then the next night, went to sleep in the guest room. And there was a fire that broke out because there was a, um, a leak, I guess, in the propane tank below the jacuzzi. And um, so this fire breaks out, and I'm a very heavy sleeper, very heavy sleeper. And somehow I awake, and I'm just like looking outside at the flames. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And then I walk outside, and then I like fully wake up. And so I believe, you know, his spirit woke me up, or an angel, something. But I was totally spared. Um, the, the, the bed that I was sleeping in was engulfed in flames completely like um, less than a minute after I exited. So that was the first miracle. This is just like, uh, you know, basically 48 hours after I received Christ. So I was like, whoa, so you spared my life there. That was, that was pretty awesome. And then um, about eight weeks later, I rolled my car off of a cliff um, in a very violent car accident. And I got out with not a scratch, not a bruise, nothing. And, you know, I started going to church, reading the Bible more. I really enjoyed, you know, listening to Christian music. One day I ditched school in high school and went uh, kayaking. And I was just listening to Christian music and I was catching some waves in a kayak. I was having the best time. I felt like I was in heaven. It was amazing. And um, as I got older, you know, I stopped reading the Bible as much. I stopped going to church as much. And, um, you know... I lived a life that was not like laden with sin, you know, I didn't join like some a gang and go, you know, sell guns or drugs or anything like that. But, you know, I, I got mixed up in a few things and, you know, had a fairly normal uh, life in my early 20s. And I got married when I was actually um, 21. And, um, you know, my wife and I, we separated many times. Uh, we were very mature for our age and um, after that you know um, I started going back to church here and there and then eventually I got to the point where um, you know I started getting interested in going out and you know sharing the gospel here and there and um, that's my cat he, he chatters when he sees like birds outside I don't know if you can hear him, but it's hilarious anyway um, so I ended up, uh, you know, starting to share the gospel, you know, going to homeless people, bring some food, clothes, some drinks, whatever. Um, and then started going to, uh, you know, church more and more often. Um, started reading the Bible a lot, taking like tons of notes. Um, there was a time when I had, uh, I don't know how many, um, you know, notes and papers just stacked up just like hundreds and hundreds and it was insane I actually um 
you know, was ministered to by the Spirit one day and I started writing down in Hebrew and taking some, you know, numerical values from the Hebrew letters. And um, the Spirit would lead me through a Bible study that was just incredibly amazing through the Old Testament and the New, and it would just be this amazing theme. It would all, like, connect, and at first it freaked me out, you know. And then after a while, I was just like, this is awesome. And it was just God's way of showing me that He's connected with me and that we're having this conversation and that we're walking together in, in agreement. So it was amazing. And then... Um, so as I continued to mature and, and, um, and learn and grow, um, you know, I ventured out and continued to minister to whoever, you know, I ministered to, um, you know, prostitutes, uh, dancers, uh, ministered to um, gang members. Um, I went to Israel three times and shared the gospel with a lot of people over there in Israel. Um, you know, I handed out these t-shirts that I make. Um, uh, the first series of t-shirts that I made um, had uh, Hero Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, um, in Hebrew, in the form of a cross. And I handed those ones out um, over in Israel, um, which was pretty cool. And um, so, you know, nowadays, uh, I'm not evangelizing as much as I'd like to because of the, uh, the virus and such. Um, and so that's why, you know, the social media is kind of nice to be able to um, you know, use everything we can to, to help and encourage and comfort and support one another. Um, because, you know, the greatest command is to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love one another as he loves us. So with that, I'm going to go. My cat's chattering again. He's hilarious. All right. So until next time, Godspeed and Shalom.